Hi, my name is Liz Driscoll. I'm with North Carolina Cooperative Extension's 4-H Youth Development Program. I'm really excited to share with you, we have a new curriculum called Beekeepers. It's for middle school youth to learn all about beekeeping, about our honeybees, about our native bees, um, and everything in between. One of the activities that we encourage the young people to do to better understand the bees that are living in the world around us is to go out into the garden, out into the landscape, and begin to just notice and observe um, what bees they might see flying around. So they can do this and take pictures or they could collect the bees, but one of the most satisfying ways to begin to understand and categorize the different bees that are in our world is to do sketching. And so I'm gonna walk you through the steps to make your very own um, bee sketchbook. So to start, what you need are um, a little sturdier piece of paper. It doesn't have to have um, anything on the cover. In this case, I've just done um, a bee, but it's a piece of cardstock and then a number of different pieces of paper for your filler. You could use printer paper, you could use sketch paper, depending on um, what your interests are. And then what we need are book binding supplies. So we have a bone folder. So this is something that's gonna help us um, make nice crisp folds on our paper. You need a book binding awl, so it has a sharp point and we are gonna punch some holes through the paper so that we can add our binding thread. You're gonna need waxed linen um, thread. The wax on this will really help the thread move through the holes more easily. Um, if you can't find wax linen thread, you can actually use beeswax and wax your own thread. You're gonna need a needle to um, that has a nice hole I large enough that you can thread your um, thread through so that you can go through the book and then two clips that will help keep everything in line so that our paper doesn't move. To get started, the first step is to take your filler paper and you want to fold the edges pretty close to each other and then you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to make a sharp crease kind of right in the middle and then bring it all the way across to the edge. So again, starting from the middle and going out to the edge. So now you have this nice sharp crease on your filler paper. Then do the same for the cover. Kind of match up your end to end here and put your finger to hold it. Take your bone folder, kind of make that first crease in the middle and then bring it out to the edge. So now you've got a nice crisp folder cover and all your filler paper and you're gonna put these in um, right in the middle like this and once you have it lined up to where you want it with the folds in the middle lined up take your binder clip and put one on the top and then do the same on the bottom on the opposite side and this is going to keep our paper um, nice and lined up so that our holes will will work out then take a ruler and figure out where the middle of your book is so this is about um, eight and a quarter, so about at the four inch mark, make a little dot, and that's gonna be hole number three. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make five holes in total, and you're gonna mark um, them equidistantly. So make your measurements, find those, and make little marks. And all this is doing is this is helping you um, to be able to know where to poke your your holes with your book binding all. So take your sharp point, you're gonna punch a hole right through those marks. Be careful that you don't punch yourself on the other side of the book. If you're doing this with young children, um, you might help them with this step. Okay, to start binding your book, you've got your five holes. This middle hole is gonna be hole number three, hole number two, hole number one as you work towards me, then hole number four and hole number five. So start with your thread from the inside of the book and you're gonna go through that middle hole, hole number three. So pull your needle and thread all the way through until you have a little tail that's maybe an inch or two in length. Don't knot it. You're just gonna hold, put your finger on it and kind of hold on to it so your thread doesn't go all the way through. Then from the outside, you're gonna work your way up. And so you're gonna go from hole number three to hole number four. Make sure that you hold this tail 
and you want your stitches to be nice and tight. Otherwise, if you have a loose binding, then your pages get a little bit loose. So from the inside, from hole number four, go through hole number five, pull that thread all the way through, make it nice and tight, flip it over, and now we're gonna work our way back down the book spine towards the middle. So from hole number five on the outside, go into four, hole number four on the inside. You can flip it over. All right, from here we've got nice tight stitches and we're gonna go right into the middle and we're gonna do this all over again. going from hole number three to hole number two. So from the outside, go to the inside, pull your stitches nice and tight, hole number two to hole number one, turn it over, and then you're gonna finish off by going from this hole number two back through hole number three, the middle hole. Your thread might be getting a little busy here, but be patient. So that's what your inside looks like. You still have your tail. Flip your book over on the outside. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little knot on the outside. So just take your thread, kind of put, pull it through a thread and make a knot, okay? just like that, okay? So you have a knot on the outside, but we don't want it on the outside, so we're gonna pull it back through to the inside of the book. So stick your needle back through hole number three, flip your book over, and you kinda wanna, when you get to the end of your thread, just pull enough here so that your knot kinda pulls in from the spine and it's gonna go um, kind of in between the pages. So it kind of gets hidden from the back of the, um, from the outside of, the, of your book. Now that you have that knot hidden, you're gonna tie off this knot. So just take um, and make a simple knot, just like that. And then your book is finished. So you can cut this off right here. And you can either cut these really short or if you want, you can just um, weave them into the, um, the binding, just like that. And there you have it. So you have your very, and you can take your clips off. You have your very own bee book for sketching. So I hope you go out and enjoy, find a lot of really interesting bees and make some really um, vibrant sketches and you can capture what kind of bees you have in your backyard. If you have any questions, please contact me, Liz Driscoll, with North Carolina Cooperative Extension.